Once your work is finished, don't watch the television. Once your work is finished, find something constructive to add to your mind. Have an hour for reading. And I don't mean read comic books. Read something that will make you know what's happening. So when you get in a conversation, you can sound intelligent, even if you aren't. Do you hear me what I'm saying? Why, what kind of man want a wife today who can't hold a conversation? No, don't a man want to sit up and talk to you about babies? About Johnny needs some shoes? Your husband don't even want to hear that. One of the reasons you have trouble in your house is you can't carry an intelligent adult conversation. When your husband was dead, you talked trash. That's all you talk, trash. Now he come out, he's a Muslim. He want to talk about Yaku. He want to talk about the sun, moon, and star. He want to talk about cracking atoms. Even if he don't know what he's talking about, that's what he want to talk about. I'm, I'm telling you this so you won't lose your husband. All of you will agree that your husband is more serious once he become a Muslim than he was when he was a Christian. He's serious. Now, you can't hold no man down like you used to, talking some trash about sister so-and-so. I'm telling you, that was that a man crazy. Right. So go get a book and read it. And then when he come in the house, start talking to him about something that's, that's uh, uh, going to nourish his mind and nourish your mind. Read your lessons and talk about the lessons. But I'm going to tell you a strange thing. I don't want to get on this other, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, uh, see, you've, you've been so far away from this that if your husband sit reading, studying, he can be reading inside you, studying, something serious, you think he's ignoring you. But if he put down his book and both y'all sit and watch the TV together, that make you happy, doesn't it? Why don't you think that he can read with you as easy as watch the television with you? I'm going to tell you why. You don't know enough about what he's reading. You don't know enough about what he's interested in so that when he's doing what he's interested in, you feel left out. But the, the television is your level. Please forgive me for saying that. But no, but the television is your level. You got a television brain, a television vocabulary, and you live in a television world. Now, as long as your man is spending time with you on your level, you're happy. But when he tries to get you into a world that's based on intellect, that's based on intelligence, that's based on uh, nourishing that brain, you feel left out. And you are left out. I don't make you angry for saying this, do I? But this is good for you, because when you understand that, you know how to get him, and if you got him, you know how to keep him. But if you don't understand it, I'll guarantee you, you won't keep what you got, and you won't get what you got your eyes on. Right.